Welcome, I'm Bev Adams. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! And if you have been watching my blog at all, you know that I love putting labels on all kinds of products. I have case inserts available. I love having not only the actual name, but also the catalog and page number and item number on all my products. I especially like that on my punches because nowhere on these punches does it say the name of the punch, um, much less where to find it in the catalog. Another thing I've made labels for is like all those layering ovals, framelits, and layering squares, layering circles. These have 15 ovals and they all look a lot alike. So I not only made a case insert for the framelits themselves, I've also made these, I call them taggers, so that you can find the very size that you want and refer to this for instance as the number one smooth. And so if you wanted to use this framelit, it's the number one smooth framelit with all the sizes on it. But some of the products that I have a really hard time labeling are things like the Baker's Twine. There's really no place to put a label. Uh, my labels don't seem to want to stick on the inside and it's not very visible on the inside. Not only that, but my ribbons tend to... Uh, come uncurled in my drawer and it makes a real mess. Last year I finally figured out how to label washi tape. Um, I put a cord or a, in this case ball chain around the whole group of it and have all the information on it. So I created labels for all of the cords and the ribbons and the baker's twine and the washi tape and also the metallic threads. You can just print off the labels on and I use and I used Whisper White cardstock. If you want to get really fancy you can corner around the bottom. You can put these in the scallop tag topper punch. I did intentionally make them short so they are hard to reach. So a pair of tweezers helps get those out. Get yourself some rubber bands, and quite frankly, the hardest part has been to find the rubber bands. I tried these rubber bands, and they work, sort of, but you really have to work hard to get them stretched around the, some of the products, and the, the tags tend to tear if you don't do it quite right. These 117B rubber bands are longer. They're all actually too long. These are 7 by 1 8 inch. Um, they are stronger. I was really looking for some rubber bands that are about that long and those really thin ones. So if you can find those, let me know what number they are. But these work. So you just put them through the hole, reach through the loop, and pull the other end through. Push the loop through pull it out and then just reach through and pull the tag through that loop and tighten it up a little bit. The rubber band helps to keep the cord on the spool and you've got all the information. And I don't know if you've tried this Baker's Twine. It is so soft. This is some of the Festive Farmhouse Cotton Twine and it does come in three colors. And I did make tags for each color, highlighting the one to put it on. So this is Cherry Cobbler, Berry Vanilla, and Mossy Meadow. These tags will fit on ribbon. If your rubber bands are as large as mine, another way you can put them on is to just wrap the rubber band around a couple of times. And that will help tame your cords as well. So if you would like to tame and name all of your ribbons, cords, and trims, come on over to bevadams.com. I will have the direct link for that free printout of all the tags for you right here and also in the YouTube description below. Talk to you soon. Bye! Mm -hmm.